Alright guys, welcome back to another Dying Light 2 video. To this point, we haven't had any more updates besides the game being indefinitely delayed a couple months back. I wanted to just make a video about this topic, which would be how will the weapon system in Dying Light 2 actually work? We all know in Dying Light 1, the system was similar to many other games such as Destiny and any other linear games, where you level up your character and get similar weapons just with more damage. I would love to see them implement a new system that used sort of different materials. So let's say a certain machete was made of maybe like a softer type of metal than another one. It would do less damage and things like that. What if you could actually sharpen blades at like crafting stations or crafting tables? They could easily introduce five or more different types of metals and make the damage widely vary with maybe different perks to each kind. We already know the crafting is going to be a lot more advanced, they have said that, and I'm wondering maybe if that was pointing towards some system like this. I really think there's just so many ways they could easily get rid of this old system so many games in the past have used, and it would be kind of foolish if they didn't implement something new like that. We know weapon mods are making a return, the only difference this time is that they are going to have to be manually turned on whenever you want to use them. And that made me think possibly having durability for weapon mods, which may sound kind of stupid, but say if you, your weapon breaks and that mod is still on the weapon, say you can take it off and then put it on a different weapon and the durability would be separate. I think that would be a really cool thing and it would make a lot of sense. As far as guns go, the developers have said they want it to be sort of a rare thing where having a shotgun or even a rifle or pistol is kind of like a superpower in the game as it's going to be a medieval type of setting with little firepower and when you actually come across someone in the game with that it's going to be really important and really powerful personally i really like that and i prefer less full auto anyway and i can live without as much gunplay but obviously there's still going to be some shotgun and pistol and maybe even full auto there could be but I highly doubt it. Probably just shotguns and pistols is what I'm leaning towards and single shot rifles. Going back to the system I explained earlier, I kind of wanted to further explain it. So let's say if it was, I'm just going to throw out two random metals here. Let's say aluminum and copper. Let's say you find a weapon that is 75% aluminum and 25% copper. And then you compare that to a 75% copper and 25% aluminum. And let's just say the copper is more powerful than aluminum. The damage would obviously vary um, considering those percentages. And say if they had at minimum five different metals in the game, copper, aluminum, brass, bronze, zinc, things like that. Um, and let's say the most powerful metal was like steel, stainless steel or something like that. I don't know if it is at all, but let's just say it was. And let's say getting to like 99% stainless steel is like the most powerful weapon you can have. Maybe they could have sort of a system like that. And then the crafting would also revolve around that. Let's say to actually create a stainless steel weapon, if it was the most powerful, you would actually have to gather a lot of stainless steel to get a powerful weapon like that. That system would need some balancing too, just to make sure it's no one's saving up steel to just make that powerful of a weapon. Let's say they would have to obviously make that a very hard resource to come by, and that's something they could do. I don't think this is too sophisticated for them to implement. I could see something like this with different percentages of the metal mixed in. Maybe a certain pipe, you would find a, wa a pipe... Uh, Maybe a water pipe is made of something. They could actually do research from real life and it would make sense perfectly. We'll see what system they actually do use if they revert back to the Dying Light 1. And either way, I know the game's going to be fun. It's going to be enjoyable. We'll see how much they want to focus on a new system like that. Or if they're just going to focus more on the choices and the effects in the environment. Because I know that's a big part of it. But yeah, tell me what you guys think down below and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.